Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Sorry, it's been a couple days since I last played this. I just really haven't wanted to play it. Uh, that's the simplest uh, explanation. I just haven't wanted to sit down and play Pokemon. I just took a couple days from recording, and it was it was pretty nice. So that's about it. So anyways, in the last episode, we took on the irritating Token Amaru trial, which may have been one of the reasons I didn't want to come back to the game. But we have a member, a new member to the team right now. I replaced Pikachu with Tenzin, the Dusk Lichen Rock. So you saw the evolution sequence before the last episode. Uh, I was doing some contemplating over the types on my team. Uh, electric were, is only really good against water and flying. That's actually the only things it's super effective against. And um, unless I'm forgetting something, which I don't believe I am. But uh, water is covered by my grass type and Lilligant. And then flying is covered by my rock type and Tenzin, who also has Thunderfang. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I do have the Lycanium Z for whenever he gets Stone Edge, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's got a bad nature, which is a bit unfortunate, but I didn't, I don't really feel like resetting for one. So I almost have completely unique Pokeballs. I only need to, my my two Pokemon like I have Judy and Java, both are in a normal Pokeball, and those two won't be changing. So those are the only two common balls we have at the same time. But anyways. We have to go into Melee Garden and talk to and give the mask back to the professor. We're gonna meet someone. Yo, 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 hold up, Mr. Kukui. You say you wanna make a Pokemon League? Yeah, I'm rocks in your school. Four turns. Huh? Bring out both the other researcher moves, yes. I'm always ready. Oh, yeah. I think you're both down in a battle royal and you'll be down with a swift incinerator, too. Gotta beat the man to be the man, boys. Yo, for real? Fine, you asked for it. Getting bed, Professor. Your name is Ghost in your place. Battle Royal, huh? Nice idea there, Kukui. You can beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? It's... It's Guzma. The boss is graced with a presence. The hey boss who beats it down beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma's here. I'm surprised how well I just got into that voice. It worked out very nicely. Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting battle for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Vesta Kukui. In this corner, the boss team's going the hot sky around Guzma. Here we are, Kukui. Foul rejects should never become captains. We got all these moldy old traditions and loaded the kahunas of the captains. By the time we cut our city garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong, though, Koopa. You got no need for a Pokemon League. After everyone knows the strongest trainers on these islands, speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become Captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? I want to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat Old Hala. Finally found what I was looking for. Strongest moves you use are the ones that train the Pokemon trees together and hear the moment really counts. And turn you to make Pokemon League yet. Yeah, give everyone a chance to boost the limit with their team. Find that perfect move. I see it, Guzma. Show your moves and move your aren't just all the time. If you really can, that is. Red Lilia, don't you agree? That's right. See one of the kids on our island challenge. You don't look like you're from around here. This is a video. She has moved a little recently. Discovery new experience adventure. She's loving every minute of it. Early in her Lycan Rock can unleash some power, real powerful moves. See if you think you're the strongest strand on these islands, Guzma. Why don't you battle her? <laughs> There's move fanatics. Get me all riled up. You got Z Power Ring, huh? Well, even by the island challenge, what's the point of it? Uh, let's say it'll make me strong. No, you won't, you dumb kid. No, it won't. Excuse me, I messed up my words. Watch closely, Kukui. Someday I'm gonna destroy you. First, I'll destroy everything you care about. Wanna see what destruction looks like? Here's the human form. It's your boy, Guzma! Alright. Kinda slipped out of the voice a little bit, but, you know, close enough. It's your boy, Guzma! Alright, you're gonna lead out probably with the Galiza Bud. Yep. Um I wanna see I'm gonna actually look up Galiza Bud's defense stat. Well actually if as long as I do over half, it'll just get swapped out anyway. I went right past the stats. Base 140 defense, that's actually pretty good. 
but I don't want to rock him see its face. And if I, I'll kill it even better. Alright, you got this, boy. Let's go, Tenzin. You beautiful, beautiful little wolf. Glee's about such a cool Pokemon with a terrible ability. I mean, Emergency X. Oh, wow, it did just barely half. Alright. Oh, it's a Masquerade! Even better, you're gonna get obliterated. I'll have to. I'm probably gonna swap Tenzin out after we encounter the Galisapod. Come on, bro! Alright, this is probably gonna hurt. Java, just don't flinch. Thank you for surviving. Don't flinch. Like, why does it do so much damage? This thing is bullshit, bro. It's not that good. Masquerade's not that good of a Pokemon. My entire team's, like, lower level than Guzma's, though. That's irritating. That's fucking stupid. Alright, I'm gonna hope you go for it and miss. This is gonna do a good amount of damage and won't kill. Never mind! Burn it, please. Dang it. Alright, so, I wanna look up Masquerade stats. Look at that, a special attack of 80! This thing isn't that good. Okay, it got a little. It got actually a pretty decent boost to special attack. It got a 20 point boost in both special attack and speed. I don't know why I'm going for double kick, but. I've had a Pokemon tough it out while already being on 1 HP. So I'm just gonna go into Judy and quick attack it. Judy does have speed. Base stat wise, I'm pretty sure. But we're just gonna make sure it goes down. Judy grows to level 32. That probably should get Tenzin up. <clears throat> Ow. Alright, I don't know if Judy will kill, so let's just go for it. Wow, I dodged a sucker punch. Okay, so never mind. Um, I'm gonna beat this thing. Way to go, Judy. Judy's like, legitimately is my favorite Pokemon on the team. It's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, he's still got the XP. That's really nice. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Now tell me you've wanted team to let loose and destroy everything. It was a lady, right? I remember you summoned a happy to beat down anytime. Peace, nerd. So you're how, huh? Ooh, this is different. And you're Guzma, so? You know you don't have to do the on challenge just because your granddad's a kahuna. Even if you finish, you might not get what you want. That's a little interesting that they added there. Whoa, Lilia! Those nice moves, I can feel my soul shaking. I almost forgot to give you something. Here goes Z Crystal for Incineroar Evolution Litten. And when I give it, when it learns Darkest Lariat, that'll work. But then mess together. Million give you that, I'll take you. I'll make sure I give access to the Master Royale. So that's it. Oh, yeah, I did. It was an awesome battle, Lilia. Maybe someday Guzma will figure out what it is you kids learn on the Island Challenge. So what happened to Lily? You guys lose her somewhere? I don't really care. I'm right here. So is Ace of Roya. You and the professor fought this horrible team still school thugs. Just thinking about it makes me worry. It's not like a scary group. You think? I don't know. Exchange a few moves in battle is quick was a way to get know someone in my book. I'm gonna head up to Mount Lana Key. I gotta make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and never has a chance to find our Pokemon move. You can run on your eye challenge one day too. You'll make it there too. Oh yeah. Lily, how? Be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Yeah, you made it yourself a cushion try, huh? That's yeah, really great. You can take the next try, I'll pass with the engine to stop it, you know? Because I'll see where I have to the production to hit stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, you come to me, do shopping. <laughs> I can't really do her voice anymore. Whatever. Anyway, we're done here. Soon it'll be time for the XP share. Which sucks, because I've been doing a good job not having to use that. I did a little bit of 
I did, I've done a little bit of grinding after a couple episodes because I needed to only like twice. Otherwise, we've kept on par, but now Guzman's stronger than us, so. Level-wise, at least, he didn't win. Okay, you're a healer, which is really nice. So, route 11. Fall from a swimmer, so a hiker who can swim. Okay. Oh, an item. It's a big mushroom. Let's see if they added anything new here. They probably did. I don't know what it is. I know you can find uh, the koala Pokemon. I forget what its name is. Parasect. Interesting. Yay! Good job, Tenzin. I wanted to make sure he wouldn't shut the Parasect, because it could it could have a good grass move at this point. I have no idea what Parasect learns, because I don't really care for Parasect. Alrighty, let's move on. A double battle. Oh, not many trainers have a chance to earn some prize money. Oh! So you're gonna auto-use that? You get extra prize money, thanks. Well, I don't even think he auto-used it, I think he just gave me a free one. Like, in case I didn't actually win one. Because I have, like, two of them that I haven't used yet in my thing, but... Sure, I'll take extra money. Where's the cotton lil again? Alright. Definitely not territory for Tenzin. Alright, Joe. Ow, I bit my tongue. Fuck. Okay, I'm using Normalium Z in the Lilligant. Kind of lag the game, dude. Nice. You're gonna go with that Quiver Dance. Oh no, let's not do that. Lilligant's gonna synthesis. Damn it. I really wish that I had gone for... Got attacked the Lilligant. You know, in all honesty, I didn't... I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh my gosh, you do so much damage, Shooty. God, I love you. Such a good Pokemon. Alright, we're gonna quick attack the Whimsicott. Hopefully knock it out. Yeah. Judy's really good. I love Lopunny. Man, I wish we could get the XP, or not the XP, the, the Mega, the Mega Ring earlier, so I could use it. You're gonna make a drain lo my Judy, it's gonna- well, That didn't even do much at plus one. I, I guess it is only plus one. But, there you go. Goodbye. Good job, team. Proud of you. You guys are the bomb. Tenzin gross level 29. Stealth Rock. No. I'm good. It's frustrating losing Red Rover. They're not using enough refresh? Well, considering your Pokemon didn't do anything, Related to refresh, sure. I didn't realize I already got Tenzin up to max affection. I know that I got him up to two at least, so I could um, get the boosted XP so it was easier to evolve him. And then I had to change my DS time. I think I talked about it. I don't even remember the team that's normally here. <laughs> it's Okay, I'm pretty sure it was Gyro Ball last time. This is what a normal Poke Pelago looks like. <laughs> Tapu Coco's Muse, <laughs> Superior, Melotic, Haxorus, Pikachu, Blastoise. I forgot I even had a Blastoise. Oh, I forgot to mention the Volcano. Uh, did the Pokemon update? No, they didn't. I just wasn't looking over on the side. But Type Null and Volcanion too. I wasted like all my time with the with Poke Pelago, so I have like barely any time left on my on my prize money thing. Sup, kid? Where'd you come from? Me and the Dene aren't messing around. Well, you have a Dedene, so yes, you are messing around. Damn it! I was afraid it was gonna go for the nuzzle. I should have gone for my Rocky MZ, because it's like, it's not limited uses or anything like that. Ugh. Oh. Alright, good job, Tenzin. Thank you, buddy. Dedene! What? It's so nuzzleable. I know. Did any cute, but it's a be it's pretty bad Pokemon. Doesn't learn any special fairy moves. And there's still no hidden power fairy. Whoa! Holy crap, beware is big. Hiya, challenge you to a battle. I accept. Master, please lend me strength. <laughs> it's so big! Oh my gosh! Like straight up beware is huge! I didn't expect it to be that... that I didn't realize it was that big. 
Because this, the in-game sprite does not show how big it is. Because clearly in the actual world, he's bigger than that dude. That's crazy. Assuming he's probably got Fluffy, I'm going into Tenzin. I'm going to hit him super hard with a, a Flame Pledge. Fire Pledge. But, of course, I'm just going to get O-Code by literally every single fucking Pokemon. You need to evolve. Better not miss a Sleep Powder. But, of course, and watch, her, watch him take out Samba. How is Samba bulkier than my... Than my Toracat? That's stupid. I should give Toracat the Eevee Light. Okay, and goodbye. I really hope my in-game audio was picking up, wasn't pi being picked up. I mean, at least from my my DS itself, because I think it was uh, bleeding over a little bit. Master, because look how big it is. Master, I'm sorry I failed you. <laughs> As you wish, Master. You proving you're saying worthy of learning one of his many moves. This holds against my master's teachings. Payback, if you can attack the, um, what? Hi, karate dude. Faith moves mountains. What is that freaking noise? Hariyama. And Hydro Vortex Oko's Hariyama. Hayden must learn to detect, nah. Komala, I just remembered the koala's name. <laughs> What's up? Greetings, Rogo. Let me check your collection of Z crystals. We've gotten all of them up until this point. Jane, yeah, just open it. Oh, I didn't even see the item. I ran straight in there because I kind of wanted to see what kept making noise, but I just found another stupid parasect. Um, <laughs> and I just saw the icon for to like the press A to get the item right there, and I'm like, oh, what was it? A big mushroom. Okay. Wouldn't have been a big deal if I had missed it anyway. We're gonna meet Miss How, Miss How Hapu. Um, I was thinking Miss Hapu, and I said How. Greens, Lydia. Me. Yeah, you get the moods you now. We're going to News Cover his Station. Here you go. Thank you. I'm just gonna skip through all this crap because we don't care. No. They seem to be here to investigate some ill that weighs heavily upon them. Luckily, it's quite. It's quite in keeping with the people of Alola. If you see the next try, go straight through. Okay, there's no need to even ask me about them. About them. I, I really like on the Mudsdale, though, how it's like motorcycle handlebars. I don't really know exactly why. Because I don't think it's that way for... Like, Tortoise, it's an up-close handle. Ah, well, I took an extra step because... I don't know. And then I ran into a Pokemon. It's a Maynet trick. That's pretty dope. We're going to battle her just because I want to get the item. It's important for Pokemon to be cute and strong. No, not really. Maybe for you it is, but Pokemon could be whatever. Turtuk is not very strong, but it's kind of cute. Yo, turtle dude. Aqua Jet. How much does that do? Come on, that was a crit. Paralyzed. No. Alright. We're just gonna swap in a little again. And a goodbye, Chertuga. And Elixir. Okay. Kinda worth it. This guy will give me Dragon Tail if I beat everyone on the route. That's pretty neat. Hey, Surfer Dude! What's up? Even I can't surf with that doesn't stop me from enjoying Pokemon battles. Alright. Robert leads that with a Remoraid. I'd be willing to test my metal against it. I'll heal up Tenzin. I didn't do anything, literally, after that battle. I just kind of left the team the way it was, which probably wasn't the greatest decision. As well as the fact to use a, a super potion, because we're kind of past the 60 HP mark. Yeah, Bubble Beam, I'm not sure that's a great idea. I'm, it's probably just going to knock me right back to where I was, basically. Okay. Literally no point to that. Alright, come on out, Lilligant. And goodbye, Rimmeraid. A Sandy Gas. Damn you. And then one Giga Drain takes out the Sandy Gas. Because Rockwell couldn't handle the job. I like how its face actually, like, fades away, too. Alright, we're on the... <clears throat> Blush Mountain. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> 
Charge bugs. Oh, there's Pokemon up here. Because I got the Pokefinder thing. It's like Togedemaru up on the roof, isn't it? No, it's a Porygon Z flitting around. Holy cow. What a weird Pokemon. I mean, I guess it makes sense of being at the power plant. But it's just like flitting around, flying around and glitching all over the place. Where'd you go? Come back. Alright, I got a good rating on that one from Rodom. Really? You gave me a good rating on that one? Okay, whatever. Wow, look at that. Alright, apparently it was an amazing shot. I mean, I guess it... It's pretty cool, but whatever. Oh, there's a sticker there. Yeah, that's actually... Like, I just realized I haven't found a sticker in a while. I mean, I suppose I did find them last episode. But I hadn't found one yet this episode. What's happening? Oh, Magnum, I not again. How many times do I have to tell you to suck up all the electricity at once? Lose power and the whole place goes dark. Okay. Sorry, I hope you weren't frightened just now. The Magnum is actually my Pokemon. I'm really sorry I gave you a shock. I'll give you this scintillating TM since I'm sorry. Why, why, why embargo? Magnemite loves electricity, but the power of my place got shut off, so I bring it here like this sometimes. It seems like fresh power is just a particular... Okay. 61 totem stickers. Actually, I was... At, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that what's-his-name didn't call me. Oak. When I got 60. Well, speaking of Oak, he's right here. Hello. Nina Lola region, volcanic, something I don't even care. Whatever. What are you giving me? Lurball. Thank you. All right, let's fight. I'm an office worker. You say I'm a business guy. Okay, I don't really know why you're just standing here outside the power plant. I suppose I could ask the same of the surfer that's down the road. Where is the beach in Ula Ula? I guess it's... I was going to say probably over by Grimsley, but that wouldn't make much sense. Because there wouldn't be much to... Uh, to go with because it doesn't lead out to the ocean holy crap get destroyed watch him paralyze me nobody crit me and that's frustrating thank you for the crit and no static very nice all right Tenzin gets to level 33 nice you got up seven levels already in this episode one of them was a rare candy but still all right let's send in Samba thank you for the crit Samba I appreciate it there's your praise. <laughs> you're gonna quick attack me again, that's fine. And you're just gonna go down and edge of all. Sweet. Thank you, Samba. You're the bomb. Level 33 for her. Hey! Tower team's at level 33, so I think I will turn on the XP share. Only for a couple levels, and I... The main reason is that everyone's equal now. Basic, except for... Except for Raquinid. And I want to make sure that everyone's equal. I just love... I love that. That's what I want. Okay, oh, back on the Route 12. See, there's an item over here. Ah, uh, I was... Oh, this is probably where the beach is. Because this is where... The, this is the secluded shore. Yep, I see the main time thing. Whoa! It's an Alolan Graveler! Remember when I got the shiny... Uh... Was it? It was a shiny Alolan Graveler in the... In the Moon Wonder Wedlock. Oh, what's up, dude? Why, well, young Lily? We keep running into each other, don't we? I just found you at the power plant. Yeah. When I've been stuck in my research in regional variants, sort of Pokemon. That's when I come out for a spot of Mantan Surfing. It's secret f the feeling all recharged. Though it does get my go go I can't seem to ever beat that Komodo Clad CAD when it comes to ranking board. Just g grimsly. Anyway, keep collecting your stickers and enjoying your challenge. I'll be on Heya Heya Beach if you ever need me. Okay, how many stickers do I need to get to the next, the the next totem? Whoa, what's that? Bottle on the ground with a relatively new looking letter. It would be great if we deliver this to Nainoa, our train on Ulu Ulu Island of Alola. You should put it at Melee City's Cape. If you challenge him to Pokemon battle, but you'd be doing me a favor. I got myself, just kidding, I know who that is. That's that kid who's like, what, what do you want? Up there by the garbage place. Hey, it's a revive! 
replacement for the many, the too many I've had to use this episode. I can buy rare candies. How much was that rare candy? I don't actually care too much. Rare candies are 48. I have 20... 20 battle points. I'll, I, several of them are from... Oh, I can't, I can't go... I was thinking I could go directly to... Whatever from here. How do I not have any more moves? Maybe I get more moves if I talk to... Someone there at the beach. Because obviously up and down are Magikarp Splash. Whoa, that was actually some really good dodging there. Yeah, that time I got the Gorbis roll too late. It's kind of funny though that the Sharpedos are after you. They're actually trying to attack you. Okay, see Alcala Island there. Whoa! No, I lost my speed! Well, not all of it, but a decent amount of it. There we go. This one's way longer than the path to Mela Mela Nakala. God dang it, it tried to do a third Huntail Spiral. I actually really love the Mantide Surfing. This has been going on a long ass time. Dang it! I was nearly up over the rail again, but that's my best one yet. I don't know how many I got though. 27,000. Pretty good. Wonder if that gets me the top on that ranking. Number three at the Ulu Ulu Beach Spot. Nice. Nine beach points. This is. I love Manatite Surfing, bro. Don't you forget the ride you just took. Okay, I need to figure out how to get more moves. Because I literally. It's either Magikarp Splash or the Spins. I got 5,000 for that one trick. That's pretty dope. I think there are specific combos that you, if you just do them, they you just get a lot of points. And you don't even know specifically what they are. See, I just heard that little, like, money sound. I don't know what that is. So your real punishment for not landing a trick is that not just the landing bonus, but you, you lose all your speed. And you gotta start over there. Okay, let's see. If I get, if I get 20, dang it. I didn't get the top record. That puts me at like number two or something like that. Number two, yep. I need to get 27,000 to beat Samson Oak. I think it is. Anyway, there we go. That was a little bit of fun that I had. I love, I love the Mantine Surfing. I don't do it often enough. But I legitimately, that, like you could get really good at that. So, come on, let's do something good with our Pokemon. Okay. I don't know what you mean by that, but sure. Okay, for some reason, the Star Starmie is only using Rapid Spin. But that's okay. I at least liked it twice and it died. And that's going to get Bubbles back to full health after he only lost 5 from the Rapid Spin anyway. So, no big deal. And Bubbles goes level 33. Sweet. Hey, fun's in me if you're too strong. Well, you only had one Pokemon that had disadvantage against mine. You only used Rapid Spin twice. That's your fault. A pee, pee up it was on the rock. Okay. Sweet, we are now in the Tapu Village. Uh, don't tell me. Do I have to battle how again? Alilia! <sighs> it took him while I was strong. I managed to get through the trial. I hated that. Maybe you managed, maybe you managed to get it stronger. Hey, I hurt myself, please. You breezed the. No, I did not breeze through that trial. I breezed through everything but the stupid totem. <laughs> no, somehow, so you should take this. What is it? I'm Max. If you could give me a good item. You only have one volume, don't you? Have you ever heard the expression, sentence those golden? Hi, hey, he's back! Listen, Team Skulls cover Poma like Cosmo. Do you know anything? What? Not that we tell you. Do we do know something? Look, Cosmo isn't even a strong Pokemon. There's potential to summon Pokemon so terrifying and strong you don't even know. If something like that happened to be a disaster for Lola. Is that something like a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Protective, you know what Cosmo is? If anything, just keep it safe. I know I might be working with Team Skull, but you may not trust me, but I'm gonna say this once. You have to protect Cosmo, no matter what. Alright, peace, nerd. 
I remember the stand the team's go fin about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean? No matter what, you're just gonna leave us hanging? Lily, if they're looking for Cosmog, is Lily gonna be okay? I don't get what's going on, we gotta keep both of them safe, right? I know what I'm gonna do. Take on the trials to train with my partner. You know, look, I know what Guzman was saying, those things. I really wanna complete my own challenge, help up people learn about battling, and I don't know, I gotta go do my partner's feeling too. Okay. So, thinking about it, like, if obviously Cosmog's in danger, or they want Cosmog super bad, my question is, why the heck doesn't Lily change out of those clothes? Because they should be expecting her to look with that. Look, to be dressed like that. Sleeping little Rockruff, he's so cute. What's in here? Oh no! Is there any way I could actually take the stuff full? I want it, because it's so sad. Got left behind by its trainer. God, it makes me so damn sad because Stuffle's such a cute Pokemon. It doesn't deserve to be left. No Pokemon deserves to be left. Not even Talonflame. This is my, like, my, and Militang, my least favorite Pokemon. Oh, look at that. Look at the Poliwhirl in the top left corner. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, there's Poliwhirl. Oh, it's gone. Ah, oh, well, I scared it away. Not even on purpose. Just reel it up. I don't care. A guard spec. Okay. Whiska! Kawis? Makes sense. Living in a desert makes you appreciate the value of an oasis, and its weakness is different types to make you appreciate different Pokemon. Okay, sure. It's a cairn! You ain't got a primary short set, can't even stand guard, but I can't stand. Well, I think it was a, a guy team school grunt last time. Team school was born out of the street that once formed around one of the whole kahunas. His whole thing fell apart when they got smacked down by the wrath of the Tapu. Okay. You know, get named a kahuna, they're chosen. I was chosen! Chosen! Are you the dude that gives me taunt? Or did I already find taunt? What the hell do you think you're doing? Some of you say you're not. You want to scrap? Let's fight. Well, you what? Uh, now I got time for you. Here's this. Taunt. Yep. Tanks. Alright, that's about it for here. We can, I don't think we can go into the desert until we get... Uh, what's her name's... Until we get, until we beat Acerola. Still rain in the Tabu Village. Tabu Village, and it was named Tabu Manikila. Ruff, ruff. What now, how? I see you. What's up? Look, we're almost safe there. That's what kind of supposed to be, huh? Now it lies Mount Lanaki, I guess I'm making a Pokemon League up there on the peak. First told me the league's like training strong, crazy strong trainers. For I think who knows which strong is stronger. I don't care. I don't care. I literally... Oh my god. Hey, Alola! Alola to you, Alola, and how? So this is a Tabu Village. Must learn all we can about this place, Vegeta. It seems there are so many stories in this past. One long ago, the blinding went bad against the Tabu in this spot, Vegeta. It's the power that came pouring out of the Ultra Woman all the time. Maybe this force of Z powers. Z yes, the light, the blinding one. I mean, the light that Necrozma can wield. Our ancestors are greedy, Vegeta. They sought to control all of Vegeta's light. Here it's Vegeta! Left it incomplete in a such a state, it went mad with fury, Vegeta! So they were stolen by Vegeta! Where's the peace now, thanks to the Megalo Tower, which keeps the Binding One contained? Believe the tower's reaching its limit, the and the Binding One, and calm across my hunger for it. The Binding One may return while it's free, but it also gives us light wants Vegeta! Like to help store the Vegeta to its true form! We don't have the slightest idea of how we can do that, Vegeta! Is there anything will you share with us? After all, you can form more familiar with the sea moves than we are, Vegeta! Sure. <clears throat> okay. I don't get what that was all about, but it seems like the Ultra Recon are people in a pretty hopeless spot. I wish everyone could be happy and find something to smile about, even that Necrozma, right, Alilia? Sure. People say the top of Bulu destroyed the supermarket in its rage, but that's not right. It's people who sell to blame. What did they think would happen when they built a shop on a land that's sacred to the Tapu? Yeah, good point. Didn't actually mean to go down here. We can get Shadow Ball, so I'm gonna go get Shadow Ball quick. Whoa! Too many fish are trying to paralyze me! Alright, I'll fight. 
I don't really care to fight a Frillish, but if it if you need help, I'll catch the Frillish. If you want me to add a Justin to my team, let me know, guys. I'll replace Bubbles probably with it. So we're gonna go. Wait, hold on. What is what's his stat thing? Oh, the what? Yeah, the Waterium Z boost. I think that's what I was saying. Anyways, we're gonna go for a quick ball. Yoshi! Phyllis retreated back to the ocean. Thank you, save my life. Could we talk for a bit? If you're trying to catch a Phyllis, call the frail too many to join. I'm in the playful, but the veil like arms have poisoned that paralyzes you. I didn't know what to do. I had the chance to get rescued, so I guess it wasn't all bad. Okay. <laughs> my heart's still pounding. Here's Destiny Knot. Yay! Thank you very much. I need the Destiny Knot. That's for breeding. I'll bet I'll see you again. Because, I mean, it doesn't. It's not often you're gonna deal with deal with a affection in a jeez I'm climb. What's up, dude? So I proposed to my wife. She's been gone for a while now. Well, why didn't you help the girl down here that was struggling with the frillish? Jeez, bro. Sorry about your wife, though. Holy crap! A level 36 wish cash. I might need to do a bit of grinding. The wish cash is so high level I didn't even oko it with Giga Drain. It's okay, we dodged. So we're good. Next up is a Honchcrow. Very interesting Pokemon. They're both different. Let's go into Tenzin and we'll play rough it. Alright, you outspeed me. Well, I guess that Absol's not nearly as fast as I thought it was. But since it's basically a guaranteed crit at this point, I believe it is. I believe Super Luck and Scope Lens is 100%. Because I don't think I haven't crit since I got this. Please give me a will like a lighthouse guides a ship. There is our Shadow Ball. Can anyone learn it besides Absol? Lopany can, of course Lopany can. I should actually check uh, Lopany's special attacks. I'm pretty sure it's... I'm, I'm sure it's pretty bad. But Lopany's got a good special moveset. 54, yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, its attack isn't even that great. 100... Um, okay. Maybe more than you was trying to see what truly the better train and holding back. Okay. But, Lobbity's best stat is its speed. That's funny. Special defense is his next best stat. I would never have guessed. Shogun. Am I leading out bubbles? Yeah, perfect. I can ice beam it. Dragon Claw. That might hurt a lot. Nah, Bubbles can take another. Freeze? That was a crit. Not that great. Okay. We're gonna double edge. Okay, it does about the same. I'm an ice beam. I should live this, provided you don't crit. Thank you. Good job, Bubbles. Proud of you, buddy. Thank you for the crit. Sweet, I'm just gonna level 34. Next up is a Sligu, another dragon. I really wish I could Mega Evolve. That'd be amazing having a Mega Lopany. So we're just gonna Breakneck Blitz. Hey, Judy, I actually, it's a really good thing you have good, uh, good special defense. You got this, Judy. Sweet. Wonder what he's gonna go with next. A good bite. Interesting. Alright, Samba, you got this. Wow, that still does way too much. And you outspeed me. Ah, uh, you know what? Hayden, please live with, on 1 HP. Please. God dang it, dude. Let's see how much this Ice Beam does. Alright, we dodged the Dragon Claw. That's good. I wish Absol would have done that. Freeze it, please. Dang it. Let's just go for the Waterfall. Dude, please don't have Rust Skin. I 
Of course. Well, we won the battle, but half our team got KO'd. Judy gained XP, though, so... I didn't realize there was such a big difference between us and how many trainers we battled. Well, I don't think there is that much of a difference. Everything will have you choose speaking of choice specs. Ooh! That's a very nice. Thanks. All right, you want a fan sump to trade for a fan sump. Well, and that's because they evolve when you trade them. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. So really enjoyed it. Looks like the next episode will probably be taking on Acerola's trial, I'd assume. So, pretty cool stuff. So, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you all later.